What's going on everybody, ANV Coin Brusher here back with a brand new High Limit Coin Brusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And they gave us a thousand quarters to get started today. Super expensive game, but I think a thousand quarters should be enough to start knocking down these big old towers they got in there. Well, it looks like they got a great big old like castle made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. All these pinkish purple chips are uh, five thousand dollar chips, and these orange chips, those are ten thousand dollar chips. And uh, look at all this cash they got on the play field up front. That is a bunch of twenty dollar bills and hundred and fifty dollar bills. And back there on the pusher, they got some uh, golden towers with uh, dice on top of them. I'm seeing. Uh, six dice in there in total today. There's four of the white ones and two of the gold. So the gold dice multiplier gold by whatever they land on. The white dice multiplier winnings. They also got a stack of hundred dollar bills back there. Oh nice I can see a dollar sign mister bag now. Sweet. And they got a whole bunch of twenty five thousand dollar chip towers back there. Oh my goodness. Wow that was incredible. Nice, that one did the exact same thing. Look at that, that was awesome. All right, let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Wow, that was absolutely phenomenal, you all. All right, so I'm gonna rapid fire a whole bunch of quarters in there at one time. So we're about halfway through our first thousand quarters. Alright, so I put all those quarters that we have left in there all at one time. Let's see what we win. Come on. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of money about to fall on the right side. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah, that was a fabulous push right there. Nice. We got some gold over there on the right. Wow, it just keeps on raining, doesn't it? Nice, there we go. We got a chip of lynch and a gold of lynch. I guess you can say gold of lynch as well, can't you? Yeah, look at this big old tower of $5,000 chips right here in the center. We might struggle pretty bad to get that thing to go. That's a lot of weight we're trying to push right there in the middle. Nice, check this out. That mystery bag, it's getting pretty close to the edge, and we just got one of them white dice. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I know y'all probably can't see four out of those six dice. I think we already got two of the dice. Maybe one, I'm not sure. That other dice was over here on the left side. But uh, anyway, let's see. The other two dice, they're on top of these big old towers they got back there on the blue shelf. So y'all probably can't see them. So anyway, I grabbed probably about three or four hundred quarters out of the loot chute. Just enough to keep the game going for a little bit. I'm going to wait and separate all those chips that we won until we run out of quarters. After we run out of quarters, I'll separate the chips. Because I want to try to get most of this cleared out of here because it's pretty distracting when the chips are falling down while I'm down there trying to count up the money and separate the chips. So, yeah, it's just best to make sure it's mostly cleared out before you do that. All right, let's clear up that loot chute again. Oh, nice, we got that mystery bag. Now, I can already tell you all this is going to be a massive win today. We're going to make an absolute fortune on this game. A little bit surprised we was able to buy into this game for $10 million. Honestly, when I seen this one, it looked like at least a $20 million buy-in. Yeah, these games are very, very expensive, and there is lots of money on the line. You all don't know how anxious I get uh, gambling with this type of money right here. Yeah, it can be pretty scary at times when that looks like we're not going to win. See, a lot of times I'll lose way more at these than I will ever win. I've lost way more at these than I'll probably ever win back. And I play several of these games every single day and I might get one winning game and of course that's the video I post because nobody really wants to see the losing videos. More people would rather me just post the winning videos than post the losing videos. So I try to post 
post a losing, I mean a winning video every single day. Sometimes I'm here for like 16 to 20 hours at a time just trying to get a winning video. And if I'm here that long, a lot of times I'll just post, I guess, a video that I'd already filmed or something. Because I can't go home and edit the video and then expect to get any sleep. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up this Mr. Bag right here. Uh, we got the majority of those $25,000 chips out of there, so let's see. Yeah, these are very, very difficult to open at times. So let's check this thing out and see what we won. It's super, super heavy, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, wow, it was loaded up brilliantly well. Oh my goodness, there was a lot more in here than I thought there was. So that we got two $1 chips. Each one of these is 500 free quarters. So uh, this right here is 1,000 extra quarters. I'll take it. And uh, we got the $5 chip. For the ones who don't know what this is for, we get to turn this in. They'll take all the towers that are on the blue shelves. They'll put it here into the play field somewhere. And check this out. We got the yellow earbuds. So this right here gets us a tower made out of $1,000 chips. Really, really looking forward to that. And uh, let's see. We got four of the white dice, three of the gold dice, and two silver dice. So the silver dice multiply our quarters. The gold dice multiply the gold. The white dice multiply our winnings. So that is absolutely incredible. So anyhow, I want to go ahead and get that loot shoot cleared out, count up all those chips we've won, and the gold, and I'll let y'all know what we've won. Be right back. Alrighty, I am back. So there actually ended up being uh, two more $1 chips down there in the payout chute. It was mixed with all those chips and stuff. So more than likely, that means they was like hidden under the quarters or something on the play field. So that means we got four of the $1 chips now. So that is 2,000 extra quarters. I'm going to go ahead and turn these in. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in all four of those $1 chips. They gave me 2,000 extra quarters. So that put us up to roughly 3,200 quarters now. So I'm going to push right here in the center, or technically across the whole field. Really, really going to try to win this great big old humongous tower right here. Yeah, it's definitely looking like it's going to give us a huge battle, so... Yeah, I'm going to try at least another round after this. Try to get this big old tower right here. Alright, so let's see what all those quarters do. Now, I think our best bet is to just stack up a whole bunch of quarters at once. And eventually this big old tower in the middle here is going to go. There we go. Let's see what this push right here does. Come on, big money. Give me something. Oh, my goodness. Well, that big old stack of $100 bills over there on the right. It's in a pretty good position now. If it just keeps on moving a little bit, it's eventually just going to fall straight down into the payout chute. Now, we could really, really use a nice win on this game today. I lost a lot of money yesterday evening. I might as well go into detail about it. Uh, we lost around... Let's see, what was it? I think it was about $115 million to be exact. $115 million even. Yeah, I just kept on doing buy-in after buy-in. It was actually a $10 million buy-in game just like today. And I just kept on buying in, and we still couldn't get it to go. So I eventually called it quits at $115 million. But we actually won, like... Well, let's see. Yeah, the buy-in was $120 million. So technically, I bought in 12 times, and we made like $5 million back. That's it. We didn't win any of the dice or anything like that. I don't even think there was $1 chips in that game yesterday, and there was only like two or three small quarter towers. So wasn't a very good game whatsoever. You know, we lost big time. So we're down about $115 million at the moment. So hopefully we can make that $115 million back today on this game right here. I've heard the employees talking and the manager talking about like making these games more and more difficult. And they was talking about going back down to smaller buy-ins again. Like 
one million dollar buy-ins are going to be like the new billion dollar buy-ins or whatnot. Kind of like kind of like how it used to be you know back like 2022 something like that how the buy-ins used to be a little bit less than they are now well in reality a lot less than they are now now we do a 10 million dollar buy-in like it's nothing and i've been losing a lot of money and whenever people do those large buy-ins a lot of times people will walk out of here with hundreds of millions of dollars and yeah they were talking about that if they don't make some changes they could potentially go out of business and we definitely don't want that happening so yeah here soon they may start doing it I'm not sure they may have it where the large buy-in games are so difficult that you can't even win at all I heard them talking about that, but uh, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to go back down to one million dollar buy-ins, right? I mean, a million dollars is still a lot of money. You could do a lot with a million dollars. Buy a house, a car, fill the house up with furniture. Uh, let's see. Possibly buy two cars, or who knows, however many cars you want, really within reasonable price range with a million bucks. But they did say the setups for these games are going to be getting a lot better within the future, so probably within the next couple weeks, couple months, the setups are going to be getting a lot better. They were even talking about more quarter towers being in there, kind of like old times. Like how it was six, seven, eight months ago. So I'm really, really hoping they start doing that. That would be spectacular. I'd absolutely love to see quarter towers in there. Well, let's see. That big old stack of $100 bills, it got stuck in the uh, payout chute over there on the right-hand side. Hopefully we can get it to go stuck in there pretty bad it's walking like probably 10 bucks and quarters from falling you look real closely you can kind of see them how they're starting to build up over there on the right and i don't know if we're going to be able to get this tower of chips in the middle here it's being super stubborn right now but we're not walking out of here today until we make a profit well same thing as getting the whole machine cleared out I mean, if we get the whole machine cleared out and we still don't profit, then I guess that's fine. I mean, I'd, I'd like leaving here knowing that we did absolutely everything we could to make that 10 million bucks back. You get what I'm trying to say? If I leave here and there's still, for example, these two towers of $10,000 chips in there, then I wouldn't feel like I gave it my best shot to win that 10 million bucks back, so... Anyway, we're getting real low on quarters. We only got like a couple of them left in the basket here. Let me just throw them all in there. All right, there they are. That was the last of them. Let's see if we can get a good push. Come on, big money. You know what? I think it'd be best to go ahead and call them back here and turn in that $5 chip. Well, I don't know about the $5 chip. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll save that yellow earbud for last. I'm going to go ahead and turn in the $5 chip because when they put these two towers here into the play field, when those crash down, it should help us get this big tower right here in the center. And plus, there's like four more towers on there as well. So anyhow, let's go ahead and call them back here and cash in the $5 chip. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. And they took all them ginormous towers that was on the blue shelf. They put them all into the playing field. And it looks like they like moved this tower right here in the center further back or something. So what I'm thinking is when these great big old towers, the $10,000 chips fall over, it's going to completely demolish this big old tower up front. This should be pretty interesting. So uh, be sure you leave a like on the video if you think this big old tower right here in the center is going to fall down. After them two big old towers on the pressure falls. I'm honestly thinking this is going to be a huge jackpot win today. I can guarantee you that. 
And uh, anyway, you can see those dots a little bit better now. Let's see, can you see them? Oh yeah, yeah you can. There's uh, two of the white dots there, two of the gold dots. So we'll see what all these quarters do. Oh yeah, they're about to go. I'm gonna add to it. I'm gonna put the rest of these quarters in there. All right, there we are. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy smokes, that was absolutely phenomenal. Well, my prediction was pretty wrong. I thought that those two towers would completely demolish this tower in the center, but uh, it barely even moved it. Oh nice, there it goes. Wow, look at that, that whole tower just fell backwards. There we go. Now that's gonna be the most difficult part right there. This right here was all gonna be difficult to win. We're gonna get it though. Once that goes, it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. And honestly, this being stuck right here in the middle here might help us get the towers on the sides. And these are all made out of $25,000 chips as well. Talk about some crazy money. We're looking at it right now, all those $25,000 chips. I'd say each one of these towers is roughly two and a half million. Maybe more. You're welcome to count it up if you want to. You can pause the video and uh, zoom in on it and try to count them up if you want. I'll leave that entirely up to you. But if somebody does do that, if you don't mind, let me know what it's worth down in the comments. Oh my goodness, that was insane right there. Holy smokes, let's get the loot chute emptied out again. Wow, this has to be one of the best games I've played in a while. Alright, so while there's still some weight on the left side and in the center, I'm going to push over there on the right to try to get that big old tower $25,000 tips to get moving. Yeah, that is super close. As you can see, the top of it right here looks like it's going to go straight back, which that's what we want. If it does the same thing as the tower on the left did, then... Uh, should be smooth sailing. We should be able to win it all out of there. Well, this has been an excellent game today so far. Like I said, leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it. I reward you all big time for hitting that like button with better videos the next day. So, if you want to see like a $50 million buy-in tomorrow, potentially, uh, be sure you leave a like on the video. Oh yeah, there's a gold dice right there. You can see it pretty good right there. It's getting real close to the edge. Hoping we can win that thing. This is doing miraculously well. Pushing super good today. Yeah, I thought for sure this would be a super difficult game. That big old tower of chips being stuck right there in the center. I was like, yeah, it's over with now. We're going to lose all of our quarters eventually. See, that's what will happen a lot of times. There'll be like one stubborn tower and I end up using all my quarters just trying to get that particular tower to fall down again. There we go. We've lost big time money when that happens. So It'd be like right now, say if this tower on the right remained stuck there for like another hour or two, it would be super, super silly to spend all my quarters trying to win it whenever I could turn in the yellow earbud. And the yellow earbud, that'll give us a tower of $1,000 chips. Won't be nearly as much money as that, but still a big old tower. But here's the thing about it, that yellow earbud would also come with a free reset, which means... Uh, they would rearrange whatever else is remaining in the play field, whether that be that tower on the right, the chips on the corner. We're going to get this $5,000 chip on the corner here. Might as well point that out. Yeah, we're making an absolute fortune today. All right, I'm going to push this last 5000 bucks out of there. All right, there we go. Sweet, we got it. Well, there's a whole bunch of chips down there I gotta separate and stuff. So anyway, uh, just keep a close eye on this tower right here. It might end up falling down while I'm down there separating the chips. 
But uh, anyway, if that tower doesn't fall down while I'm down there, I'll just go ahead and turn in the yellow earbud immediately after I get through separating the chips. So I'll see y'all in just a minute. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that yellow earbud and they built, looks like, two gigantic towers of $1,000 chips in the play field. Uh, one of them's down here on the lower shelf on the left side. That one might be a little difficult to win, I'm not sure. But uh, they got a big old tower on the pressure back there. I'd say that one's going to fall down without any issues whatsoever. And they also rearranged that big old tower of $25,000 chips that was on the right. They put it more towards the center, I guess. So hopefully that one is real easy to knock down. Hopefully we can get all this stuff cleared out of here today. And uh, there's a gold dust on top of this, as you can see here. So we really need to try to win that. Oh yeah, there we go. Got that $10,000 chip out of there. Now that big old tower of $25,000 chips, I think it's going to end up falling backwards. Might fall toward that tower that's standing on the pressure. Yep, there it goes. Oh my goodness, that was a loud noise, wasn't it? Now that tower fell down. Nice, there we go, perfect. We got that big old tower that was on the left hand side. Oh my goodness, you couldn't ask for a better waterfall than that. That was definitely a chip of lunch right there for sure. And uh, let's see. Yeah, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure you hit that subscribe button. I do a video like this every single day, seven days a week. So uh, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you never miss a brand new video. And after you subscribe, uh, enable that little bell icon that's right beside of it. And then you will receive notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer. Or technically, whatever device you're watching my videos on, you'll get a notification every single time I upload a brand new video. So be sure you're looking out for the videos every single day. Yeah, each day it's something different. Different types of setups in there, different types of buy-ins, different types of chips. Well, it's mostly the same chips every time, but sometimes it's different chip values. Like some days it could be $1,000 chips, other days it could be... You get what I'm trying to say. So we almost got it all cleared out of there already. There's only 2000 bucks left in there to win, so let's win that out of there. And uh, we'll be ready to cash out. This has been an excellent game today. You know what, this video is actually a little bit short, so I might add like a bonus video onto this one or something. Or like a mini bonus game, I don't know, we'll see. I was playing something here the other day, and I think you all would want to see it. it. It just wasn't long enough to make like a full video out of it, so it'd be perfect. I'll just add it onto this one here. Oh yeah, that last thousand dollar chip, it's making its way toward the edge. Usually the last chip is always the most stubborn. Or it could be the last gold bar, whatever the last item is in there. But today it's a chip, so... We're gonna get it though, I'm pretty sure. It's like hanging over the edge about 30% of the way already. Now it's about 50%, I guess. Nice, there we go. We got the whole machine cleared out today. That is absolutely phenomenal. This has been an excellent game today. Absolutely excellent. So now I'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here and I'll have them put all those dice that we've won on the pusher and we got to roll them down to this lower shelf here. Whatever numbers they're facing upwards, we're going to get to multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by those numbers. So let's check it out and see how many dice we've won real quick. Be right back. All right, so we ended up winning 15 dice in total. We got eight of the white dice, five of the gold dice, and two silver dice. They'll put all 15 of them dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to this lower shelf, whatever they all land on. We're going to get to multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by those numbers. So let me go get the staff. And they'll put all them dice on the pressure. We'll be right back. 
Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 15 of them dice on the pusher shelf back there. So let's get them on down to the lower shelf. Hopefully they all end on some fabulous numbers today. Well, today they didn't take the quarters off of the lower shelf for some reason. Yeah, I guess they were like, I guess they were experimenting. Something like that to see if the dice land on better numbers if there's no quarters compared to when there is quarters in there. I don't know. That's just my assumption. Seems like to me they land on uh, good numbers either way. It don't really matter if there's quarters on the lower shelf or no quarters. So anyway, the majority of them dice landed on some decent numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by all that. And I'll let y'all know how much money we won today from a... 10 million dollar buy-in we'll be right back you all are not going to believe how much money i ended up winning today from a 10 million dollar buy-in this is absolutely incredible i ended up winning 18 million four hundred and ninety seven thousand two hundred and eighty dollars that is the chips and the cash all put together and today the white dice totaled up to 28 so i'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 28 and in total, I ended up winning $517,923,840 from a $10 million buy-in. So that means we ended up profiting $507,923,840. Wow, that is a terrific win right there, especially from a $10 million buy-in. Can't believe we won over half a billion dollars today. That is just outrageous. Wow, this has been an excellent game today. And it doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won uh, 59 ounces of gold. And the gold dice totaled up to, I believe it was 16. So in total, I ended up winning 944 ounces of gold. And the spot price of gold is like 2450 an ounce, I think. It means we got $2,312,800 in gold. I'll take it. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning 2000 and 71 quarters and the silver dice totaled up to six so i'm gonna get to multiply the quarters by six and in total i ended up winning 12,426 quarters that is absolutely amazing right there excellent win for the quarters so anyhow that right there is not bad not bad at all for a 10 million dollar buy-in so like i said earlier i'm gonna add an extra like bonus short video onto this one just to make the video a little bit longer I think this one right here is just a little under 30 minutes right now the way it is. I can just tell by the time it's took to knock down the towers. I doubt we'll get a 30 minute video out of this. So I'm going to add an extra video onto this. So that should start playing here in just a couple seconds. So enjoy that video you all. What is up everybody? a and Coinbuster back with a brand new High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $50,000 buy-in. And they gave us 20 quarters to start out with today so this isn't going to be like a full video or nothing like that i'll probably add this on to a short video or something in the future oh my goodness well we got one quarter back already so let's see what have they even got in there today looks like a ginormous like spiral tower made out of five thousand dollar chips oh my gosh it's going it's doing pretty good all right let's check it out see how many quarters we won looks like about i don't know 10, 12, 15 of them potentially. So I think we should just uh, push across the whole field. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. We one over there on the right hand side, a bunch of quarters. Nice, there we go. Sweet, we got like 15 grand in that one push right there. That is awesome. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So we've made $16,000 and we got about, oh goodness, like 50 quarters now or something. It's doing real well. Looks like it's primed and ready to go now. There's a bunch of quarters about to fall off of the pusher. Nice, there we go. Got a bunch of quarters in return from that lower shelf as well. Sweet. So the goal is to win every bit of this out of here today. This should be some easy money if you want to know the truth. We just got to win all these quarters back first. So let's see what we won. We'll be right back. All right, so that's where we're at on quarters now. It's probably about, I'm going to say 180, 190 quarters pretty close to 200 of them so let's see what it does come on nice push oh yeah nice there we go we got a five thousand dollar chip in the middle there now we're getting pretty close to making our buy-in money back because there's some five thousand dollar chips and ten thousand dollar chips on the edge 
Now look at all that right through there. It's primed and ready to go almost. Nice, there we go. That was absolutely phenomenal. Now be sure you leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. Well, like I said, this is going to be like uh, two videos in one. I'm going to save this uh, game right here for a video that's kind of short or whatnot. So, oh yeah, that was a nice push there. Let's see what we win with that second wave. So I'm assuming we've already made way over our buy-in money back. So let me go clear out that loot chute and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So how much money do y'all think that tower back there on the pusher is? I'm going to say that's around, I don't know, half a million potentially. So we definitely have the potential to make way over $50,000 back today. So we almost got the entire lower shelf cleared off. Let's see, there's only uh, 45 grand left. Well, now there's starting some more money starting to add to it because that big old tower's losing chips at the base of it. Oh yeah, that big old tower on the pusher just turned a little bit. Did you see that? Thing is super close to going. All right, well that was the rest of our quarters, or technically the last of them. So let's see what it does. Well, see, now it's going to be kind of difficult to win quarters back because we just about got this lower shelf completely cleared off. So anyhow, let's go ahead and round up the quarters and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's try our best to knock down this big old tower here because we got a bunch of quarters now. I just want to use all these quarters to knock down this big old tower of chips. We're going to have to put a lot of them in there at one time, though, if we're going to get any action. Oh yeah, just made 10,000 bucks on the right there. Sweet. That was an awesome push right there. Alright, so we just got a couple quarters left. Alright, there they are. Well, actually we had that much left as well. Alright, let's see what it does. I'm just waiting for that big old tower to collapse down. Oh my goodness, did you see that? That was incredible. We just made a fortune right there. So many $5,000 chips. So let's go round up some quarters and we'll try to win all this out of here. Be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So another $25,000 fell off of there while I was down there separating the chips and stuff. So yeah, we're doing super, super well on this game right here. A little bit surprised this wasn't at least a half a million dollar buy in. Yeah, that tower back there was more than likely at least half a million bucks, so yeah, we're definitely making a fortune today. Wow, this is doing super, super well. And uh, that's where we're at on quarters. We got that much left in the basket here. Yeah, we should be able to win all, every bit of this out of here in no time. Oh yeah, that's going to be a good one. Well, we got a bunch of quarters on the right. We definitely need the quarters today. However, I don't think there was any dice, Mr. Bags, nor gold bars in this game right here. There's usually not that much stuff for a $50,000 buy-in. So, uh, let's see. That was the last of our quarters again. So let's see if we can get a last-minute magic. Nice, there we go. That was an awesome push right there. So let's go collect the quarters, and we'll win the rest of this out of here. Be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's try to win all these remaining $5,000 chips out of here. That was a good push right there. Alright, so there's 10 grand, 20 grand. Well, didn't have any time to count it up, but now there's $15,000 left in there. And we got that many quarters in the basket still, so we're definitely going to win it. Oh yeah, that last 10 grand, it's on the edge now, baby. Come on, big push. Nice, there we go. We got it all cleared out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and count up all my money, see how much money I've won, and I'll let y'all know what we won back from that $50,000 buy-in. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. You all are not going to believe how much money I won from that $50,000 buy-in. This is absolutely incredible. So I ended up winning $724,000 on the dot from a $50,000 buy-in. So that means we ended up profiting $674,000 today. And that was a quick game right there. That was, what, less than 15 minutes? Well, for me, it was about 15 or 20 
for you all it was probably about like a five or a ten minute game right there but like I said this video right here is going to be added on to a like an extra video probably a short video so anyway I hope you all enjoyed this uh, game right here today and if you did be sure you leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon that way you're notified for future videos and if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos uh, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there and if you want to check out yesterday's video that will appear at the bottom left of the screen this video is a good video as well so you can check that one out if you want and uh, lastly if you want to subscribe you can click the button at the top right of the screen so with all that being said i will see everybody on the next episode you all take care and have an exceptional day